that we have the graphics and everything. And that cubicle there is the preview room. After the presentation, individual team members were able to introduce themselves and receive guidance. Assalamu alaikum, Piyar Hudur. My name is Mirza Saleh Ahmed. And I'm post-production department. I'm going to get a chance. Okay, when did you come here, Mirza Saleh? Piyar Hudur, you were in 2017. جنوری دوزہ سترہ میں اچھا چار سال ہوئی ہے الحمدللہ اچھا ماشاء اللہ کتنے گھنٹے کام کرتے ہیں روز پردور کوشش ہوتی ہے دس گھنٹے کم از کم کتنے دو گھنٹے چار گھنٹے چھے گھنٹے آٹھ گھنٹے پردور دس گھنٹے ٹھیک ہے پھر تو اچھی بات ہے اور کچھ فیلر کچھ فیلر وغیرہ بھی آپ بناتے ہیں جی پردور بنائے ہوئے ہیں کچھ فیلر بھی بنائے ہوئے ہیں فیلر بھی مختلف لینگوجز میں ہونے چاہیے اور نورڈن لینگویج جو ہے گونجا وغیرہ اس میں بھی بنائیں یوروپا میں بھی بنائیں اور افریقہ ساروں کو افریقہ کو دکھا رہے ہیں تو کریول میں بھی بنائیں ہر جگہ ہونے چاہیے تھوڑے بہت تاکہ ہر قوم کے لوگوں کو پہنچ جائے آپ کا فیلر جی ٹھیک ہے انشاءاللہ طلب ہے اور اس میں فیلر میں صرف یہ نہیں ہے کہ صرف سمپل قسم کے فیلر بنا دیں بلکہ مختلف قسم کی کوٹیشنز لے لیں کوٹیشنز لے کے اس میں میری بھی مسیح علیہ السلام کی یا میرے خطبات میں سے میری تقریروں میں سے مسیح علیہ السلام کے تقریروں میں سے حدیث میں سے قرآن میں سے اور وہ مختلف وقتوں میں آتی رہے ہیں ایک ایک دو دو منٹ کے فیلر ہوں جی ٹھیک ہے پیارے دو اور اس طرح ہو کہ پورا وقت کور کر رہا ہو رائٹ جی انشاءاللہ پیارے دو جی انشاءاللہ نیکسٹ اسلام علیکم حضور وآلیکم اسلام میں نیمیس عبدو مومن مسلم uh, I'm a volunteer presenter. Presenter of which program? Yes, of uh, Inspirational Africans and Story Time with Kids. Story Time for Kids? Achha. Yes. Germany Studio is uh, making quite good kids programs, so you should also try to make programs on that pattern or any other pattern which you deem uh, appropriate for your circumstances and, and, and the condition and psyche of the people of Africa. Right? Yes, uh, we re- we've recorded some of the programs for kids, so hopefully they'll be shown soon. You need so many programs, some programs which can give some knowledge to the children about their religion. Eh? Yes, we And uh, contemporary, contemporary um, uh, issues as well. Eh? Because nowadays, because of the media, children at the very young age are very much well aware of so many things. So you should also feed them according to our teaching and uh, traditions, huh? right? Inshallah. Okay. Next. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum. We are with Huzul. Wa alaikum salam. My name is Munira Aidu, I'm, and I'm the Lajna coordinator. So you have been producing quite a lot of program. Yes, please. Yes, I coordinate the Lajna to produce those programs. Sometimes I do watch your programs and they are quite informative. Yes, please. You are doing, Lajna is doing well. And although men are also, they should not, men should not be jealous, but uh, Lajna is also doing well. <laughs> huh? Okay. Next. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Yes, Sayyida Saiba. Uh, yes, sir. I'm a volunteer um, with production department as a camera lady, and again I produce um, Craft Corner. Achha, are you related to your, Yusuf Yasin sir? Yes, sir. He he's my dad. He's my father. Uh, so, are, are you the eldest daughter of Yasin sir? Yes, please. Okay, <laughs> right, right. You were a very small child when I was there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next. At the end, there was an opportunity for questions. All right, uh, beloved Uzur, I would just like to ask of your expectations from us for our subsequent uh, programs and the subsequent years. During this uh, introduction, I have already expressed my expectations. You see, anyway, Ghana Studio is doing very well. But uh, I want that this should be the best studio and the channel in Ghana in particular and in Africa in general. Right? 
Inshallah. So you should make your programs according to that. Inshallah. Assalamualaikum, my beloved Ulu. With the inception of MTA Ghana, a lot of Ghanaians are watching MTA. Do you, do you have the data? <laughs> Only just, uh, to say that a lot of Ghanaians are watching is not, is not enough. Yeah. We, we should do some research and uh, find out that how many Ghanaians are watching our television and which of the programs they like so that uh, you can give more emphasis on that program and what type of programs do they need, right? So we have to do all this research. Yeah, some of the youth and then our kids are glued to other channels because of entertainment. So what are some of the programs we can introduce to get them glued to MTA? Now the people are becoming materialist. So obviously they will go to other entertainment channels where they see music and dancing and this and that, so which we cannot do. Eh? So we should present some good programs so they are attracted by these programs. And even you should do some research make a questionnaire and distribute it to the different areas in different pockets, in different cities and different uh, people of different backgrounds so that you would know that what people want from you with regards to the religious programs or contemporary issues programs. So then you can make according to that. Although we cannot uh, produce or show some music or uh, dancing programs, but we can show some other programs which are of their interest. Right? So, but for that, you will have to do some research. Make a team in different areas, different cities, different uh, type of people. So, if you get information from among those people, then you would know what to do. Right? Thank you very much. Okay, then now time is over. Even I have given you five minutes extra. I do say so. So, Allah Hafiz al Nasser. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The following day, a second virtue event took place. This time, a class with Nasirat in Australia. Hazur inquired about the ongoing Australian floods at the beginning of the class. जितने भी तो फ्लड आया हुआ है रास्ते बंद हैं घर डूबे हुए हैं तो पहुंचे किस नाम लोग यहाँ हज़रत इन पर दुआ की दरख़ास्त है अच्छा तो वो सड़कें जो हैं पानी में डूबी हुई हैं या कुछ बेहतर हो गए हालात जी हज़रत पानी में डूबी हुई हैं और ख़ास तौर पे इस वक्त जो है जो रिपोर्ट है वो इसका थोड़ा सा एरिया जो है वो हमारी इतला के मुताबिक थोड़ा सा जो फ्लडीड है तो रात यहीं रहना लड़कियों ने अजूर क्लास के बाद हम ज्यादा बेहतर एसेस कर सकेंगे अच्छा अगर कोई वो हुआ रास्ता रुक गया तो कोई आपने अरेंजमेंट किया हुआ है जी अजूर कोई हमारे पास मैट्रेसेस और बिस्तर हैं हमारे लजना का कंट इंशाल्लाह ताला हम बहुत अच्छी तरह से एकॉम्बोडेट कर सकते हैं। मैट्रेस तो है तो सुबह नाश्ता कराना होगा रोटी खाने को लिए आएगा नहीं? जी हज़ूर रोटी का भी इंतज़ाम है। अच्छा ठीक है ठीक है। Following tilawat and a formal session, the attendees were able to ask a series of questions. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah my beloved Hazur. Waalaikum salam kya farmati ho? My name is Ramina. Tanvir Ahmed and my question is in any circumstances when a man is not available can a woman slaughter an animal? Yes you can if you have a courage to slaughter the animal you can do it no problem but uh, you should have uh, one, one thing is that you use very sharp knife and then use your full force so that the animal should not be in pain immediately just slaughter it with one go. Eh? So, so, if you have a courage, you can do it. Who says that this is only the particular job of a man? <laughs> okay, next. 
السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ پیارے حضور وعلیکم السلام میرا نام عائشہ تسلیم ہے اور میرا سوال یہ ہے کہ آپ سیری اور افطاری میں کیا کھانا پسند کرتے ہیں سیری اور افطاری میں کیا کھانا پسند کرتے ہیں جو میں ناشتہ کرتا ہوں وہی میں سیری میں کھا لیتا ہوں اور جو میں کھانا کھاتا ہوں وہی میں افطاری میں کھا لیتا ہوں ہاں یہ ہے کہ افطاری میں افطاری کھولنے سے پہلے کیونکہ سنت ہے کھجور کھانا تو کھجور کھا لیتا ہوں ہیں تو باقی تم لوگوں کی طرح نہ پکوڑے کھاتا ہوں نہ سموسے کھاتا ہوں نہ چاٹیں بناتا ہوں نہ ہیں فضول قسم کی چیزیں بنا کے ہیں اتنا کھا لیتا ہوں رات کو افطاری کے بعد مصیبت ہی پڑی رہے صبح اٹھنا مشکل ہو جائے روزے کے لیے اور ہیں تو روٹین اپنی روٹین وہی رکھو تبھی مزہ ہے سہری کا ہم نے تو ایک بنا لیا ہوا ہے اس کو ایک ایک سہری میں ہم نے ضرور کو خاص چیز کھانی ہے اور افطاری میں ضرور خاص چیز کھانی ہے ایویں بلا وجہ کا خرچ بڑھا دیتے ہیں ہم کھانے کا بھی خرچ بڑھ جاتا ہے اور پیٹ علیحدہ خراب ہو جاتا ہے ہیں اور روزہ رکھ کے پھر سارا دن سستی رہتی ہے روزے کا مزہ تو تب ہے کہ جو روٹین کا تمہارا کھانا ہے وہی کھاؤ اور وہی اسی سے روزہ رکھو اور اسی سے روزہ کھولو ٹھیک ہے اور اور جو اور جو تمہارے لیوش قسم کی افطاریاں میں جو پیسے بچ جاتے ہیں نا وہ کسی چیریٹی میں دے دو غریبوں غریبوں اچھا ٹھیک ہے چلو نیکسٹ وان گیو آسٹ اباؤٹ ویدر انجوئنگ دا کمفرٹس آف دا ورلڈ واز کمپیٹیبل ود ونس فیتھ ایز اے مسلم If you are discharging your duties towards religion, you are, you are offering five daily prayers with full concentration and uh, you are doing justice with your prayers and you are praying istighfar and remembering Allah Ta'ala during the daytime and you are not doing bad things and if you are doing at the same time, you are doing your own job and working with somebody and and getting, getting enough money and uh, you are working uh, and doing a lucrative job where you get enough money, then although you are earning money and you are enjoying the worldly things as well, you are using your car, you are wearing good uh, dress and uh, you are living in a good house these are all the things which are necessary for today's life and they give you comfort and ease and you can enjoy them but you should not go after only these worldly things and forget allah taala if you remember allah taala and achieve all these things and uh, use all these things for your uh, for the betterment of your life for your children for your family then you can do it it only means that those people who think that this world is the only thing we have to live in and uh, we should forget about our duties we owe to allah taala then it becomes a hell for you Uh, it becomes a, though although in your eyes it becomes an a paradise for you but in the eyes of allah taala it is not good for you but for a person who always discharge the duties towards allah taala and he discharges his duty towards his fellow being and follow all the commandments of allah taala then he it might be somehow hard for him to discharge all these duties but and he feel uncomfortable sometime but even then people may think that it is a hell for him but allah taala says although you think it is hell for him but he is making paradise in the heaven in the hereafter right so you can enjoy all these worldly things but at the same time discharge your duty towards allah taala and all the follow all the commandments which allah taala has given theek hai aur assalam alaikum wa rahmatullah pyare huzur wa alaikum assalam my name is zaiva khan and my question is if someone says that they believe in ahmadiyat and follow the practices 
but they have not done bad, would he or she still be considered as Ahmadi? You see, if he says that he accepts, he, he believes in Ahmadiyya and does not do bad, it means he is trying to avoid the actual condition of joining the Jamaat. Hazrat Masim has asked that a person who believes in him should do bad so that he becomes a part and parcel of the Jamaat and come into the fold of the Jamaat. Right? And then follow the the rules and regulations of the Jamaat. If he says he believes in Ahmadiyyat, okay, he, he says that, okay, I believe that Prophet Messiah is a, the, is a right person who was to come in the latter days and whose advent was foretold by the Holy Prophet but he does not initiate in the hands of the Prophet Messiah or his Khulafa uh, and join the the Jamaat of Prophet Messiah then we cannot say, we can say that he is a good person, but we cannot say that he is a Namadi. Right? Huh? So, bath is really necessary? Yes, bath is very necessary because it is, it is written in the Quran that uh, the Holy Prophet used to take bath and then after that, Prophet also started bath. That this, this is a system which has been started by the Prophet And when you do the bath, then you will follow all the conditions of the bath. This is why there are some conditions of the bath. When you do bath, then you will have to follow all those conditions. If even after doing bath, you do not follow the conditions of the bath, then we can say that you have done bath verbally and uh, you have shown that you have done bath, but you are not following the true teaching. So the person who does bath and does not follow the, the condition of the bath is not, also not a good person. And a person who believes in Prophet Islam and do not do bad, he is also not following the conditions of uh, acceptance of the Prophet Muhammad Right? Yes. This, is, this is why I have given the series of sermons and uh, discourses and addresses in, with regards to conditions of bad. So you should read my sermon book of the conditions of the bad. Then you would know that what are your duties after having accepted as Muslim and done bad. ठीक है ना अच्छा और अस्सलाम वालेकुम व रहमतुल्लाह माय बिलव्ड हुजूर वालेकुम अस्सलाम माय नेम इज सारा समन एंड माय क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज द बेस्ट वे टू कन्विंस अ नॉन मुस्लिम दैट बरिंग अ डेड बॉडी इज मोर रिस्पेक्टफुल देन क्रिमेशन यू सी देयर आर ट्रेडिशन इन ईच एंड एवरी रिलीजन इवन हिंदूज दे क्रिमेट देयर बॉडीज डेड बॉडीज हैं and uh, even Christians now do the same thing. But the best way of uh, giving respect to the dead body is that uh, you cover it in a cloth and put it in a coffin and then bury it under the ground and then put some gravestone on it and then you will remember it. So this is the best way instead of uh, destroying the body or b by burning it, so the best way is to keep it as it is and then it is leave it to God. After some time, the body itself will get rotten and uh, only bones will be left there. So this is what Islam has taught us that uh, the best way to respect the dead body is to cover with the cloth and bury it. This is why we have adopted this tradition and this is the best way which from the very early age people used to do. Every religion has their own way of giving respect to their dead bodies and this is the way Islam says that we should adopt and we have been doing it. Huh? Right? If we don't argue and uh, say something ill about 
their teachings, why should they argue and say something about our, our religion or uh, make some uh, objections on our religion's teachings? No? So, you say, I think instead of uh, discussing these uh, petty matters, we should live amicably and leave aside what our traditions are. But we should respect each other. This is the best way of living together. At the end, Hazuri Anwar, may Allah be his helper, received a report on the nearby dams and the effects of flooding. Hazuri Anwar, two weeks ago, Jamaat ne usko gehra bhi kiya tha aur bada bhi kiya hai. To lekin in baashon mein pani se wo bhar gaya hai. Aur jab overflow hua hai, to masjid ki parking ya roads pe pani nahi aaya.